They know I'll give you a bucket. Ain't nobody no, asking I, you if no. you could beat me in a one-on-one. Yes, you I can. You're going to lose. Yes. I'm going to knock him down and go left. to the hoop. Dad still got it. Dad may cheat on how he <laughs> gets to it, but Dad still got it. I didn't want to only come in as a chef, but I came in as an employee. And I wanted him to treat me that way. I learned and grew with him as he grew with me. But it was a compliment to say, Dad, I want you to come in and cook for me because you know what I need for my diet. Oh, so that's so cute, Joe, a little commercial yeah, line. Right, yeah, right, Joe. It worked because it was just like, man, even in college, you remember in college when I had the cramping situation, like, you was already, you knew I needed grilled and baked foods anyway. When we reset my diet in college, after that, it was kind of like a guideline for me. It's really strict when it's during season. Off season here and there, though, I'll have my fried foods. I like fried chicken. Anytime I go home, I'm going to slack because I'm going to go to Johnny's. I'm going to get me an Italian beef. <laughs> but yeah, I want the pizza. I want the deep dish. But for the most part, though, grilled and baked foods, load up on fibers. I think my dad kind of, he kind of knew he shot himself in the foot how he raised us. He raised us on some, you know, be your own man, hold yourself accountable. So now it's like him being in my house is kind of like, I, he wouldn't even give me the lob for that, that, that interaction where it'd be like, he did something where it's like, I finally get to say, hey, but this my house. So he just sort of lays back and like, I don't know, it just seems like he just sort of kicks back and smiles. Like he waits for other people to test us and be like, yep, that's my son. <laughs> like I always tell him, I'm going to go ahead, Look, hold him, go hold. to the basket, score, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm, I've left the gym. I've got my two points. I've left the gym. All I wanted my uh, kids to do was succeed in life, but be good citizens. Respect people, you get respect. And so far, I've gotten that, so I can't, uh, I can't ask for any more. I just want more grandkids. See, the grandkids take shape of their parents is amazing. Because <clears throat> uh, Junie, his daughter, just like him, she's got an answer for everything. <laughs> People say, oh, how's your granddaughter? She's bad as hell, <laughs> but she's so smart. Well, how old is she? Two, two and a half years old, like she's going on five. Oh, mama, she is. She has an answer for everything. Say we go to like Great America or something, Six Flags, anything like that. Anything with a large collection of kids. She's going to randomly select five of them that become her team and her friends. Anything she buys, her friends get access to. But not just access, they get their own. And she just makes sure I'm going to pay for it. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I ain't going to lie though, you making me want to drink a margarita with this. <laughs> this. The it's, extra, the this extra is good stuff there. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. It's the presentation that gets you. It don't even really be the drink. And I learned later how to do the presentation because I want my presentation to be perfect and my meal to be excellent. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hell. The whole reason that we started this was to get you to stop working the but other But basically job. it was, but I- And after, you finessed a way to keep yeah, working after the other 37, job. 35 years, I loved what I was doing. I didn't know anything else but insurance. Insurance was in my blood when I slept. It was a number of nights they never knew. I'm like, I would be crying. I'd wake up and my wife said, what's wrong with you? I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna pay the payroll uh, in the morning. <laughs> I get to the office and checks start rolling in and I'm like, the bank would float me money to pay my employees. And I'm like, I must have did something right. Did something. And I said, uh, the kids never knew what I went through to make the sacrifices for them. But it all turned out well for us. Yeah. It all turned out well. I always say to myself, God, why did you do this for me? And like I was saying, God, why not? <laughs> like there's so many times during my life I felt like I, I was lost. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know how to pr prioritize certain things. And when I had Junie, that instantly everything aligned itself. Everything prioritized itself. Ever since I had my daughter, I've been moving and living with a a much bigger purpose. No, it's not easy. Oh, it's hard. It's, it's expensive. expensive. Yeah. It's tiring. Yeah. Imagine you have It comes one. with a small dog that you don't ask for. 
<laughs> Shit. This this is the best part of life. Uh, I've I've entered into the best part of life.